happens if you take some of the most influential, the most important engineers and designers who have dedicated their career to performance cars? I'm talking about people who have worked on BMW's M division or the Focus RS. What if you take those enthusiasts and you tell them, well, to build an EV like no other? Well, you end up with an electric car, which is truly remarkable. This thing laughs in the face of anything which has come before it, and that has tried to get anywhere near recreating the fun that you can have from a petrol performance car. Hi guys, I'm Tish and welcome back to the John Banks Review Channel. Us here at John Banks have been super excited because we've finally got our hands on the Hyundai Ioniq 5N and we get to find out just how good this car is. This is a car which has seemingly blown everybody away and I can't wait to get behind the wheel and find out whether it's really as good as everyone says. So if you want to find out what I think of the Hyundai Ioniq 5N as well as everything you need to know about this fantastic electric car then please keep watching and if you like new car reviews and car content then go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you was interested in taking the Ioniq 5N out for a spin of course you do have to be interested in purchasing one which after a test drive I'd be very surprised if you weren't then you can get in contact with the John Banks dealers via the link down below and if you did have any questions or queries then you can put them to them and if you did like new car reviews and car content like this then make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Let's quickly roll out some of the important practical figures before we have a bit of fun. The N is fitted with an 84 kilowatt hour battery, which can cover 278 miles. It doesn't just drive fast, but it also charges fast too. Thanks to the 800 volt charging capabilities, it can be topped up from 10 to 80% in less than 20 minutes. Now at first glance, the Hyundai Ioniq 5N may seem pricey for an electric family hatchback with a starting price of 65,000. However, when compared to other high performance electric vehicles, it actually represents excellent value. Now stay with me. The Kia EV6 GT is slightly cheaper at 62,000, but it lacks the same level of power and doesn't include the advanced mechanical and software enhancements which are found in the Ionic 5N. The Ford Mustang Mach-E begins at 75,000 and it does offer some upgrades over the standard model, but it doesn't match the performance of the Hyundai and also has less power. Meanwhile, both the Porsche Taycan 4S and the Audi RS e-tron GT deliver similar levels of power, but they come with a significantly higher price tag. Hyundai has clearly designed the Ioniq 5N to be what many car enthusiasts would call a real driver's car, regardless of whether you're into electric vehicles or not. With an eye-watering 641 brake horsepower, it can go from 0 to 62 in just 3.4 seconds and it has a limited top speed of 162 miles per hour. It features a race mode which allows it to lap the Nürburgring in under 8 minutes. Plus, it offers a wide range of customizable options, adjusting its handling and performance. But there has been one bit of tech which I have been loving, and this is the Hyundai Ioniq 5N's E-Shift. So when this is activated, the paddles behind the steering wheel, they no longer adjust the regenerative braking and they become, well, like real pedals. They work with the electric motors, the regenerative braking system, and the 10 speaker audio system. You've got two speakers on the outside and eight on the inside. And together, these mimic the changes that you get from a real performance petrol engine. So much so that the car will bounce off of the rev limiter if you're in a gear which is too low. And it'll even lose a little bit of performance if you're in a gear which is too high. There's a fair few companies within the automotive industry who have tried their hand at building performance-orientated EVs, but a lot of the time they feel 
a little bit half-hearted. For instance, you've got the very impressive Smart Brabus. That car can achieve 0-62 to in under five seconds with nearly 500 brake horsepower. But whilst it has a lot of performance, it doesn't have much to back up that performance. For instance, there's not many mechanical upgrades to the suspension and there isn't even a change to the brakes. This is like night and day when it comes to the Hyundai Ioniq 5N because it has so many upgrades over the standard Ioniq 5N and they really justify that price tag. For starters, it's longer, wider and also lower. Now a lot of that is to account for the new body kit. So this does have a more performance orientated body kit which features the colorways that we've come to know and love from the Hyundai N division. So you've got those flashes of the orangey red just on the bottom of the splitter and also you've just got a flash in front of the grille but you've also got some cooling systems so you've got these air curtains which are physical down the sides that will send air down the side of the car and help to cool the brakes you've also got a grille at the front which will open and close depending on whether it needs to cool the elements underneath the bonnet. Now of course there's no engine featured on the Ionic 5N but there's still many features and functions which benefit from a cooling system like this talking about the brakes. Unlike Smart, we've had a serious upgrade when it comes to the Ionic 5N. This is actually the biggest braking system which has ever been fitted to any performance Hyundai. It also features Pirelli P0 tyres which have been specifically designed for this car to withstand some serious punishment on the road. And talking about punishment on the road, whether you choose to do that on road or track, the Ionic 5N gets track warranty as well as road warranty. So really impressive. You also get these 21 inch alloy wheels, which are designed specifically for the Ionic 5N and look fantastic if you ask me. I love this colorway. I really like the white. White. Of course, we all know the blue colour when it comes to Hyundai's N performance, but actually I think the white works really well with the contrasting colours. You also have lower side skirts, which are once again dipped in that orangey red. We've got pop-out door handles and a contoured bodywork. Lots of elements on this car have also been changed. These door mirrors have also been contoured to be slightly sharper and more aerodynamic. But what about around the back? Despite still being an accommodating family car, the N manages to embody a hot hatch in its styling. There are familiar scenes from the regular car, including the pixelated rear lights, but this performance model features a much larger rear diffuser, a larger roof spoiler and F1 inspired rear brake light. Less excitingly, but very importantly, unlike the first generation Ionic 5, the N gets a rear wiper. Inside, as you'd expect, the interior of the Ionic 5N has also been upgraded so that it's in keeping with the performance on offer. There's a new trim, a gaming-inspired sports steering wheel with paddles and buttons at your fingertips. The sportiness is enhanced with comfortable and supportive bucket seats covered in recycled Alcantara, which feature illuminated N branding. There's also a new look centre console which feels suitably well put together and it also doubles up as somewhere to brace your leg when cornering hard. You get the same twin screen infotainment system and instrument display as the regular Ionic 5 which has sharp graphics and responds quickly to your inputs. It was always going to be a very tough job to capture the heart of performance car owners, especially those who have always had petrol performance cars. For a lot of people, EVs just don't come close to the enjoyment that you can get from a petrol engine. At least they didn't until this arrived. I knew that this car was going to be good, but I didn't quite understand how good. 
I really hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. As I said at the start, if you wanted to test drive the Ionic 5N for yourself and you've been considering a performance car like this, then click the link down below and chat to our team at Hyundai Cambridge. If you've enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, then make sure you hit the subscribe button. Right, I'm going to get back in this thing because I've got another evening to spend with the Ionic 5N and I don't think that I'm going to be spending much time in my house. Whoa.